Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn about Azure Blueprints. We are going to understand what Azure Blueprints are and then I will show you a demo on how to define Azure Blueprints and assign them to Azure subscriptions and management groups. Before going forward, we need to understand how management groups help us organize Azure resources. Companies naturally have hierarchical organizations. Let's say you have three departments, IT, HR and admin and IT can have many sub teams. In the example that you see on the screen, corporate IT has three sub teams and you want to manage permissions and billing separately to these departments and also the teams in each department. You can create hierarchies or trees for managing your Azure resources with management groups and the leaf nodes can contain Azure subscriptions. You can create hierarchies or trees for managing your Azure resources with management groups and the leaf nodes can contain Azure subscriptions. When you first get started learning Azure, you notice that you cannot have nested resource groups. Having management groups is the way to go. Now you have a high level understanding about management groups. Let's understand what Azure Blueprints are. Now let's say you have created the management group and subscription hierarchy as you can see on the screen. Since it is a big and complex hierarchy, you want to have some order or similarity for easier management. Like all of your subscriptions should have a resource group named compliance documents and that resource group should contain an Azure storage account for keeping compliance documents. And the next requirement that you have is that John, who is an active directory user, should have reader access to all resource groups in each one of your subscriptions. And finally, you want to have a tag named created by for all the resources that you have in all subscriptions. Now, how do you achieve this? We can use ARM templates for creating the resource, the storage account in Azure, and we can use RBAC roles for giving John the read access to all resources, and we can use Azure policy to enforce having the tag created by in all of your Azure resources. Since you had a big hierarchy of subscriptions and management groups, you would have to do this for each and every subscription. And that's where Azure Blueprints come in. Azure Blueprints combines resource groups, ARM templates, RBAC and policy assignments together to one blueprint. And you can assign this blueprint to an Azure subscription so that all of your subscriptions will look the same. And this is helpful for management and governance. And in this video, we are going to create a new management group and a subscription hierarchy. I will be creating a new subscription here. And then I'm going to define an Azure Blueprint. After defining it, I will be publishing that. And then I'm going to assign the Azure Blueprint to the Azure subscription that we have created. And finally, I'm going to show you how your resources behave when you assign an Azure Blueprint to your subscriptions. So let's get started. Now I'm in my Azure portal and I'm going into management groups. And here, as you can see, I have a tenant root group. This is the root and default management group that I get with my tenant. Now I'm going to create a new management group under my tenant root group. Let me call it corporate IT. It's being created now. All right, as you can see, my corporate IT management group is in place. Now let me create three management groups under that production, development and QA. I'm going into corporate IT management group and here we can create a new management group under corporate IT. I'm going to call this one production. All right, now we have that in place. I'm not going to create the QA and development management groups to save time. Now let's create our first Azure Blueprint. Here I'm going to search for Blueprint. As you can see, we have a service type Blueprints. I'm going to click on it. When you work with Azure Blueprints, there are three steps you need to perform. First, you need to create a Blueprint and then you're going to apply that Blueprint to a scope. 
this scope could be a management group or a subscription and then you're going to assign the blueprint to your subscription as you can see on the left we have two tabs blueprint definitions and assigned blueprints first we have to define our blueprints now i'm going into blueprint definitions and we can change the scope these blueprint definitions that we create resides in a scope usually when we create resources on azure we provide a region and a resource group to store our resource but when you create azure blueprints you do not specify these two things what you specify is the management group and the subscription hierarchy you also don't specify the region because this is not a regional resource on azure this is a global thing just like an azure ad now i'm going to select the scope i'm going to go with this one and i'm going to click ok as you can see we haven't defined any blueprints in this scope now i'm going to create a blueprint here and as you can see we have many samples already defined by azure now if i click on let's say this one and i'm going into artifacts i cannot go into artifacts without providing a name now let me select the location as well now if i go into artifacts as you can see we have a subscription and then we have a policy assignment and this policy assignment has around 92 parameters to be populated now if i click on it you can see that this enforces a lot of rules to make your resources hipaa compliant now i'm going back to blueprint definition i'm not going to use an existing sample here i'm going to create a new one i'm going to start with blank blueprint now here i'm going to name this let's call it first blueprint and now we have to specify the location for this blueprint and here we are not assigning the blueprint to the subscription or the management group we are just giving a location for this blueprint to reside in after completing the blueprint creation we can assign the blueprint to a subscription that lives under the management group that we select here i'm going to select production management group and subscription i'm not going to create for now i'm going to select this one and then i'm going into artifacts as you saw in my earlier slide we wanted to have a resource group that contains compliance documents and that resource group should have an storage account inside of it the first thing that we need to create is a resource group as you can see we have resource groups policy assignments role assignments and arm templates first i'm going to create the resource group now we have to provide the display name for this artifact this will only be shown in the azure blueprint this is not the name of the resource group now let me call it compliance data now the resource group let me call it compliance resource group something like this and i'm going to select east us i can provide tags here as well let me create a tag like this now i can add the artifact all right as you can see we have our resource group in place now you can add artifacts to the subscription and resource group the next thing that we need to do is adding a storage account how can i do that i'm going to select resource manager templates here and i have already defined an azure arm template that creates an storage account let me add that here actually not there here as you can see it is going to be a storage account and it also has the tag created by now for the artifact display name i'm going to provide compliance storage account i'm going to leave the description and then i'm going to click add now we have the resource group and the storage account in place let's say the user john should have access to all resources what we can do is we can add an artifact here and then you can select role assignment and here we can specify the role i'm going to go with reader and that is what i need and i'm going to assign the user john i have a sample user named john here I'm going to select that user. All right. Now I'm going to add our second artifact. Actually, the third one. 
Now, finally, I want to have a policy that enforces that all my Azure resources have a tag named created by. I'm going to add an artifact here and then I'm going to select policy assignment and I'm going to search for tag and as you can see, we have a lot of policies here that has already been defined by Azure. I'm going to go with require a tag on resources. I'm going to add this and as you can see, we have filled out all the parameters here and here as well, but we have one remaining here. I'm going to add created by as the tag name. Now I'm going to save this. As you can see, we have completed our blueprint definition. I'm going to save this as a draft. All right. Now, if I go into blueprint definitions, we can see the blueprint that we have created. But here under the latest version, we see draft and also we have unpublished changes as well. The next step is publishing the blueprint. We can take time to create and develop our blueprint. Once it is ready, we can publish it. I'm going to click on publish blueprint and when I publish it, I can provide a version as well. I'm going to go with version one and I'm going to click publish here. All right. Now we have one published blueprint. Now I'm going into assigned blueprints. We don't have any assigned blueprints. And if I go back and click on the blueprint that we have created, we can assign the blueprint. And as you can see, we need to pick a subscription for assigning the blueprint. Even though we have created a management group structure earlier, we haven't created an Azure subscription. I wanted to do it later because I wanted to highlight the subscription assignment here as well. Now I'm going into subscriptions and then I'm going to click add here. As you can see, we can provide a subscription name. The subscription name that I'm going to go with is mission critical. Now let me add that here. All right. The billing account is the one that I have here and I'm going to go next. And here, as you can see, we need to specify the management group that contains the new subscription. I'm going to go with production management group and then I'm going to click next. I'm not going to add any budget restrictions and then I'm going to create the subscription. All right. As you can see, we have successfully created the subscription. Now let me refresh it. We have it here and then I'm going back to blueprints and blueprint definitions and the first blueprint. And then I'm going to click on assign blueprint. And now if you have just created the subscription, you will have to wait for a few minutes to find it here. Now let's wait for a few minutes and come back. All right. Now after around 10 to 15 minutes, we will be able to see our subscription. If you had already created the subscription, you won't come across this problem. But since I have just created this, um, I had to wait. Now I'm going to select the subscription and the assignment name. I'm going to keep this as it is. Now the location, as you can see here, Blueprint uses managed identity to deploy your resources and that requires a location. So that's why we are providing a location here. And since I have only one version, I'm going to select that. And this is also important. We can lock the assignment. As you can see, we can select don't lock, do not delete and read only. And if we go with this option here, we won't be able to delete the resources that gets deployed because of this assignment that we're doing. Now I'm going to go with read only for this assignment and I'm going to skip this as it is managed identity. And then we don't have any parameters to fill here because we have applied the parameters when we define the blueprint definition. Now I'm going to select assign. As you can see, the blueprint assignment is, uh, it's getting assigned. All right. The assignment is a success. I'm going in to assigned blueprints and here we have the assigned blueprint. And if we look at provisioning state, it is waiting. We'll have to wait for few minutes until this assignment is completed. All right. As you can see, the assignment succeeded. We have completed the assignment. Now, if I go into resource groups and select the subscription that we have just created 
as you can see we have this resource group now if i go into the resource group we have the storage account as well that we have deployed with an arm template and now if i go into access control and role assignments we have john d as a reader and here we have something called deny assignments if i click on it we can see that deny assignment applies to all principles and and as you can see here this resource group and all the things that we have deployed with this blueprint assignment we cannot delete now i'm going into the storage account as you can see now if i click delete and let me provide the name here as you can see we cannot delete this resource now going back to the resource group let's see whether i can create a new resource without the tag i'm going to create a storage account and click create as you can see the validation fails and that is because we have this policy require a tag on resources we haven't added that tag now that we know that our blueprint assignment works let me go back to the blueprint assignment and assign blueprints and then unassign the blueprint let's see what happens now as you can see removing blueprint assignment succeeded now if i go into resource groups and as you can see we still have the resources that the blueprint assignment created but if i go into access control and deny assignments we don't have the lock that prevented us from deleting these resources i can just go into overview and storage account and let's try to delete this as you can see it is getting deleted this is the end of this video in this video we learn about management groups and how to create management group and subscription hierarchies and how to define an azure blueprint and how to assign the blueprint to a subscription and finally we saw what happens when you assign a blueprint to an azure subscription if you have further questions or comments let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you learned something new today and thanks for watching